Hello, and welcome to today's video. We are going to take this rectifier tube and use it to make a solid state rectifier of our own design. The first thing we need to do is, you guessed it, take this axe to it. Pretty tough. Wow. That uh, went everywhere. So this is the plate, which you're seeing here. And we're just fighting to get those wires off each of the pins. I guess that's maybe the filament. All right, well, we now have a clean octal socket. So, yeah, it's pretty dirty in there. Not sure why. I guess it's part of the manufacturing process. It gets dirty like that, but I mean, look at all that ash. Look at all that shit. Mr. Solder iron up. Alright, you can't see it, but the guide pin is actually facing this way. So these are the two back points where the AC um, comes in. And so these resistors will be AC resistors. I've tried it the other way, DC resistance resistors, and they just they turn black, man. So I'm gonna try it this way. All right, let's go solder these in. These are 100 ohm <clears throat> resistors, and frankly, I don't think they'll be enough to lower my plate voltage to where I want it to be, but... Very strange indeed. Oh, went for quality more than... Quantity more than quality on that one. Now, those are the back pins. We've got to now engineer some diodes to go to pin what will be pin 8. Alright, this is the pin here to the left of the guide pin. So now, we take these resistors this to a diode, this to a diode, and put it in that hole right there. These are one kilovolt IN4007 one amp diodes. Next thing we're gonna do, I haven't drawn a formal plan for this like a responsible individual would. <clears throat> I'm gonna make a loop. And each resistor okay now that I've made the loop the diode band is going to be up up so I'm going to go ahead and put it in the loop and I'm going to have my helping hand hold it and we're going to put it in the loop with the other helping hand this is great this thing this invention Pull the loop a little tighter if I can, yep. Now, diode band is up. Yes. Let me take this one, put it like this. It's lame, I need to stop saying that's pretty lame. Pretty lame, pretty lame. All right. Right. <clears throat> so the AC voltage, high voltage AC winding sends through these two pins, sends it down, <clears throat> then the diodes rectify it, and it will go to the pin I colored purple. So now 
we bend these diodes down to that pin all right you can see two high voltage wires are green the heater wires are black and white and the B plus comes out of where the white wire is there let's make sure we've got the pins right okay interesting I do not have the pins right now I have to undo what we just did Damn. All right. okay we now have this guy ready to go seems pretty secure test it out all right the rectifier is in place We should see what our plate voltages are. See if we're burning these tubes up. All right, you see the meter? All right, here we go. Ready? Whew. That's high. Should drop once the tubes are warmed up. Huh. That is a common voltage. Honestly, that is perfect. So the 5 watt 100 ohm resistors works for a solid state rectifier at the AC. Let's check the other tube just to be sure. And this, and this. I wonder if it's that high at the filter caps. All right, let's see what the second plate is. Perfect. Wow. Unreal. That works like a champ. So there you go. Solid state rectifier. Two resistors, two diodes, and a tube base. <laughs> I can't believe it's that simple. How are you doing? The dog <laughs> smiles. He actually smiles. Hey buddy, you smile for me? Nope. Guess not. And the diodes we use today are IN4007, 1 amp. I would put two in series if you're going to use this long term. I didn't see if my resistors are cooking, so that's another thing you want to do. I put my resistors on the AC end instead of the DC end. I have experience putting them at the DC end. Um, and what I mean by that is instead of, you can see here, we've got the high volt winding coming down here on pins 4 and 6. That's where I put my 100 watt resistors and then the diodes go to pin 8 here. So, what most people do is they put the diodes at pins 4 and 6 and then a giant resistor at the B+, because that resistor gets very hot. But through research, I found that the resistors don't get as hot if you put them at the DC end. Now, people will argue that it uh, messes with the tone, but I don't know. Uh, that's something we can test. Okay, the homemade rectifier is out. We're going to put the tube rectifier back in and we're going to measure the voltage to see if we get that same 360 or lower. Let's see how the tube diode or the tube rectifier behaves. Turning it on. Okay, 
already we see a slight difference in the max voltage but really not that much it goes up to 500 just as well and then gradually decreases to much lower okay wow all right, I put it on the other tube. See what the plate voltage is on that one. All right, so about three, 316 is what we're seeing here compared to 360. But honestly, you know, these plate, these tubes are tolerant up to a certain uh, voltage, and 360 is well within the range as far as I understand it. So, very cool experiment very cool I don't think I would dare put it in my uh, new amp because the plate voltages are already high 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 so alright 